Welcome to Photofines. I am your host, Kevin Yee, and this week, let's get started in Fantasyland. We're at Storybook Circus, where, as you can see, everything is opened up. They've got these new signs over on the side, and then around the corner, the Big Top Souvenirs, that's the uh, merchandise location, has opened as well. Now, this is the front entrance to Big Top Souvenirs. There's also a back entrance, as you can see here. It's got some different signage to it, and... Um, Highlights Humphrey and Salty, some of the lesser-known Disney characters that are kind of circus-oriented, if you uh, imagine what a typical circus animal would be. Now, you don't have to go in either one of these entrances, though. You can go in through the nearby Pete's Silly Sideshow. This is the meet-and-greet for uh, several of the Disney characters, and that would be in uh, the exit to that is through the merchandise location. But we're going to do a little bit of a look around here at Pete's Silly Sideshow just to see... Um, what this is all about, and this is where we're going to begin our kind of close-up look. And then you can see that it's kind of aged and distressed. They've made this wood, it's actually not really wood, look like wood and look like it's been there for a long time. The idea being that this is uh, a circus that gets packed up and moved around every so often. Now part of this front facade to Pete's sideshow is this Melody Time brass horn band. Uh, and as you can see, that's um, a reference to the 1948 movie, Disney movie, Melody Time also. Now, out in the front area in front of Pete's Silly Sideshow, you've got a couple of these carts. There's the hot dog cart here, and then around the corner, uh, there's the close-up of the hot dog cart and the condiments, of course. And then around the corner, you've got the pretzel cart there as well. Both of those feature um, numbers on the side of them, 55 on one and 34 on the other. It's a little less clear what those refer to. 55, probably Disneyland's opening in 1955. 1934 wasn't um, a banner year in the Disney organization. It was kind of the creation of Donald Duck, his first cartoon. That might be what it's referring to, since there's a meet and greet for Donald Duck in um, Pete's Silly Sideshow. A couple of the banners, as you can see, displayed, um, again, Disney-oriented, uh, circus-oriented Disney characters couple of the banners you can see displayed. There's that 55 on the hot dog cart and the 34 on the pretzel cart. Now the tables lying around here look kind of circusy in their colors, but as you can uh, probably guess, this is also the colors and the design for the ball um, on the Pixar logo. So the famous Pixar ball, ball provides the inspiration here. Now there's a fourth, um, a third tent in the, in the or area here, and this is the yellow tent. It's kind of blown out in the, in the picture here and covered with the wh white sun. Uh, because we wanted to show you what the inside looked like with all of these blue lights. This is really the fast pass distribution for uh, Dumbo and for Barnstormer. And you can see there's some covered tent uh, um, tables in this tent area as well where you can sit down and relax. Uh, not much to it except for the fast pass distribution. Uh, and as you can see, some of these themed, there's Timothy the Mouse, for instance, upside down here, themed areas to sit around. And now we're going to take a look at that back wall where you can see they're highlighting um, Goofy and uh, Pete, which are two of the main elements of the sideshow. That's the meet and greet area. Casey Jr. is the splash zone, of course, and Dumbo has his own uh, attraction. Humphrey, though, is just inside the souvenir um, and merchandise location. Uh, you'll see that in a few moments. So here's who you can meet in Pete's Silly Sideshow. You've got Minnie Mouse and Daisy in one line. And you stand in one line, you get to see the both of them. And the other line, you have Goofy and Donald. <clears throat> and as you can see, they're dressed as specific things. We'll see them again when we go inside. First, we're going to take a look inside Big Top Souvenirs. And as you can see, it's still a tent, just like it was before for merchandise. Now the theming is more about a circus. You've got all of these um, Big Top uh, tent poles. You've got the trapeze swings over at the top. You've got ladders throughout and the design over here. Uh, and you'll see on the carpet as well, there's a, a lot they've done to make it look like a circus. So there's the, um, the cashier stand in the corner. It looks like a circus train. These are what the new costumes look like, both male and female. And here's that carpet I was referring to. It doesn't really even look like carpet, but indeed, you're not looking at wood. This is the sort of barrier, the, uh, you know, the perimeter of the circus area. It goes all the way around that middle circle. Uh, and it, it's designed like this. It's actually still carpet. It is not wood. There's Humphrey, as we saw a moment ago. Uh, and then what his role here is, he's the mascot, I guess, for the candy store in the middle of Big Top Souvenirs. Makes the whole place smell like these candies, which is kind of appropriate for a circus environment. Now back outside, we're going to step into Pete Silly's Sideshow, and you can meet Minnie and Daisy. Again, an aged sign. 
or Goofy and Donald, and the, this line looked to be a little bit shorter, at least on our visit. When you first step inside the building, you'll come across this uh, vision here, the oversized mouth of Pete you have to go through to go into one of your two lines. This is what the sign looks like on the Donald and Goofy side. And you can see Donald is a snake charmer and Goofy is a daredevil. Donald and Goofy are off to the right and over on this side, Daisy and Minnie. And you'll see them a little bit more in a close up in a second. Now, first they've got these kind of, again, aged looking decorations. They really wanted to make it look like this was something that packs up and moves around the country every so often. So there's the daredevil, great Goofini. You see his um, prop motorcycle on the side here, still smoking. Uh, and this is the kind of globe of death behind him. Uh, and that's the extent of the meet and greet, the backdrop, as you can see it here. Next to him, you have Donald, who is a snake charmer. Now these little bits of fake fire move, although the snake eyes do not, and you kind of wish the snake eyes would move as well. Uh, but Donaldo, as a snake charmer, I thought that was a, a pretty good, um, there you can see the whole, uh, the whole effect here, a pretty good theme for Donald to have. Now we're switching sides over to uh, Daisy, who is a fortune teller, as you can see here. She's got her little fortune teller cart behind her uh, and dressed up as a fortune teller. And then coming next will be Minnie Mouse, who is um, kind of a dog trainer, right? She's training these poodles. And so Minnie is very pink in keeping with the poodles. And then after Minnie Mouse, you're dumped back out into the store, as you would have been otherwise uh, if you had gone through either of those character experiences. So that brings us to the end of the Fantasyland expansion when it comes to Storybook Circus. All parts of Storybook Circus are now open. Uh, it looks pretty good, and uh, we are pleased that uh, Disney spared no, no expense in terms of making it look themed like a 1930s and aged circus. There's a kind of nostalgia element to it as well that I find really valuable, and I hope you get a chance to see it sometime soon. That does it for us this week. We thank you as always for stopping by, and we'll catch you next time.